honestly, I wanted to do a video today on specialness and making things special. So I um, watched a video actually of uh, Jasmine's, I really like her channel, I find it really motivating. And she did a video on making connections and things special and how they were the things, like when you make something special and rare, then you're more likely to lose it because you've kind of pedestaled it above yourself. Um, and I actually, this lesson came to me the same as in not an, uh, in a non-connection way and it really hit it home and all those realizations came back and I realized how important it actually was not to do that. So I was away for quite a long period of time and I've got loads of plants, um, loads of plants I mean like my whole place is just full of plants see I mean there's only two there <laughs> but <laughs> there's a hell of a lot of plants in my place I probably have about 50 I love plants <laughs> and when I went away I asked somebody if they wouldn't mind like dropping in a few times and just watering them and I was thinking Do you know I'll be heartbroken if you know, my plants die while I'm away because I know it's going to be a long time. But the one I'll be most heartbroken about is my lemon tree because my lemon tree is irreplaceable because I've had it for, you know, two, three years. It's really big. Like, even if I was to pay for a new one, which is quite expensive, I could have to then wait for it to get to that size again. And I was like, as long as my lemon tree is okay, then I can deal with the rest. <laughs> and salvage what what um and I knew that my lemon tree was kind of around the corner and it like I'd put all the rest in like one batch together but I was like I'm sure I mentioned it I'm sure she'll find it so when I got back the first thing I thought was <laughs> I'm gonna go and check that lemon tree and of course it was the only one that just seemed to I don't know if it got water I think maybe it got watered a bit but it needs a lot of water and it was so limp and like it was the main one that was struggling up all my plants and I actually it just came into my mind straight away you made that lemon tree so special you put so much priority on only that lemon tree being okay and you know it's salvageable I think it's gonna come back it's just dropped a lot of leaves it's looking very limp it's looking very unhappy and it's looking like it needs a hell of a lot of water but the point that I'm saying is that I made that lemon tree rare. I made it that it was irreplaceable because I couldn't just, like the other plants, I could go out and buy another one that was pretty much the same size. That lemon tree, you know, I'd have to go through quite a lot of growth work with it. It was the most expensive. It was the one that was kind of irreplaceable to me. And when we move this into other things, I think that is when you really get into a problem with a connection. When you consider it to be rare, irreplaceable, and kind of pedestal it in some way, then problems arise from there because it's just too much emphasis on, on it not being easy to find and it being so special. And as soon as you can move that emphasis from that thing outside of you as being irreplaceable and special and know that it's you that's irreplaceable and special, then you really start to see shifts. And that was a very kind of small thing, but it was really interesting because it really hit at home. It's weird because I kind of knew that lesson already. And then when... <laughs> And then when I walked in and saw that was the only one that was struggling and it was the only one I'd made such a big deal about, like being the only one that I really cared about being okay because it was the most irreplaceable and it was the most rare plant that I had because I'd nurtured it for so long. And I think that's another problem is when we've put a lot of effort into something and we've nurtured it, then, uh, and that can be a relationship and a connection too, then it becomes even harder to pull back and not make it so special and it so rare and it's something that you just like have to fight for. 
And it's not that you can't have these things. And, you know, I actually let go of it. As soon as I kind of let go of it and just gave it loads of water, it's actually coming back now. Um, and it, it seems like it's going to make it <laughs> just with a few less leaves and limes on it or lemons or I'm not actually sure what it is. Um, but it's very much about taking that specialness of the external thing and understanding that you're the creator. When you make something outside of you too special, then you're kind of losing that you are the creator of that experience and you can create whatever you want. And I think the more you just make something normal and replaceable, because it doesn't matter because you can you can build it again then you know the easier time you have with with creating things so that was a little lesson from me today is that the that making things irreplaceable rare and special really isn't helping to keep them in your life and is one of the real big blocks so that was my like real life lesson from today and uh yeah i hope that helps <laughs> some people. All right. Bye.